Okay, I want to have a look at adding and subtracting decimals. Uh, and just to highlight the important things to remember when you're doing that. So adding decimals, it's really important that you remember everything to do with place value and you can understand and know the place value of each of these digits within the decimal that we've got. So our first example is looking at addition. We've got 34.2 add 6.52. So if we're going to set this up as a normal calculation, we've got 34.2. So the important thing here is to get your decimal point in the right place. I'm going to pop down the decimal point for the next uh, number that we've got. So we've got 6.52. Okay, and it's really important that you have matched up your decimal points. And now we're going to go ahead and just add this. First thing before you start adding, I want you to put in your decimal point in your answer. Make sure it's below the other ones. And if you do have a little space up here, because there's no number in here, you can just pop a zero in there to make it look um, a bit nicer. Okay, so let's go ahead and add these. So zero, add two, you just add them like you normally would with a, a whole number now, because you've got your decimal point in there. Five, add two, is seven. Six, add four, is ten. Put down your zero, carry your one. And then three, add one, gives you four. So your answer is 40.72. So again, let me just highlight the very important thing here is to match up your decimal points, even in your answer, and make sure all your numbers are in the correct place value. So second example, subtraction this time. Uh, let's write out our calculation. So we've got 67.83, subtract 4.5. I'm going to go ahead straight away and put in our two decimal points directly above each other. And then I'm going to start filling in what number we've got. So our first one, we've got 67.83. And then we're going to subtract 4.5. And again, we've got a little gap there, so we can just fill it in with a zero if needed. And we're going to subtract this time. Before we try and subtract anything, I want you to put your decimal point straight in your answer so you do not forget it. And you can see that all the decimal points are matched up perfectly. So let's just go ahead and subtract. 3 subtract 0 is 3. 8 subtract 5 is 3. 7 subtract 4 is also 3. And then 6 subtract 0. We've got a gap there, that's just a 0, is 6. So your answer is 63. Point three, three. Okay, so again, important things to remember when you're adding or subtracting decimals. You have to have a, a good knowledge and understanding of your place values and be matching up all your decimal points, all the decimal points in a row and getting your numbers in the right place. Again here, all your decimal points in, in a row and getting your numbers in the right place.